Hey guys and welcome back. So I got a new little headlight from them. It's a multi-purpose focusable induction headlamp, how they call it. 1000 lumen, 220 meters maximum beam distance. It has a 1900 milliamp battery included. Red and white uh, light sources, focusing beam, gesture sensing, and uh, yeah, it comes in a box like we know it from the headlights of them, all made of plastic. 45 hours maximum runtime, 1067 candela, uh, impact resistance according to drops over height from one meter, and uh, waterproof according to IP66. So we have turbo with 1000 lumen for three hours, probably will dim down. Then high 350, medium 130, low 30 lumen, so no moon mode. That's a shame for a headlight like this. That's in the white light mode. And then we have the red light mode, high 130, medium 30 lumen, low 5 lumen and flash 5 lumen. So that's pretty much that is to say about the technical blah blah on the box. We'll open it up and I will show you what it looks like. So I already took out the battery protection. We have the warranty card and then manual little flyer with advertising, USB-C charging cable, and the light itself. As you can see, here you can open it up. It has a very special battery. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of all those built-in batteries because once the battery breaks, you have to rely on a special battery to replace it. But a lot of people like built-in batteries, so that's probably why they all manufacture lights with built-in batteries or special batteries. Here you have the USB charging port, which is nicely covered if you correctly insert the silicon rubber port here. Really nice rotary switch. So we have red light directly on disposal, white light directly on disposal or off. So white light and then you have on the rotary knob a button to cycle through the different modes. And you can also turn off the light and then you have the pre-selection of directly turning on in the white mode or if you want to preserve your night vision in the red mode. We have a built-in battery indicator so that's pretty nice. I will show you the zoom function so, like this, it is defocused, focused, but now I have the gesture uh, control on. So, probably you can also turn that off, then it's easier to operate the zoom without turning the light on or off. So, you can turn off the gesture. Um, monitoring or how you want to call it by pushing the button six seconds when the light is off then it will normally flash now it flashes and then you know that the gesture control is turned off to reactivate just push it again for six seconds Ah, we have to turn it on and on and off. So that can be pretty handy in some cases. If you work on a car, you have dirty hands, you don't want to touch the light. It can be really handy. The light also has memory mode. If you turn the light off in the highest mode, 
and turn it on again, it will memorize it also if you go to the lottery knob. So now the light is not blinking. So that's pretty cool. It has overheat protection. So once uh, the light gets too warm, it will dim down. Um, regarding the LEDs that are being used, Phoenix indicates that it has one luminous SFT 25R uh, cold white LED for the main LED. Again, I would wish for neutral or warm LEDs. And it has one Osram GR QSS PA 1.23 red LED. So that's pretty cool. What they also say in the manual, which is really nice, is that in uh, in case the battery runs out, you can use it with three uh, AAA batteries. They have a chart here, but they ban Lion batteries. You can't use Lion batteries. That's uh, a shame. Probably it will have much less brightness if three uh, AAA batteries are used. I will measure that in my Ulbricht ball and for the rest I think everything has been set. Uh, they say the, it has a low voltage warning. So the last battery indicator will blink once the light uh, really needs charging or being replaced with AAA batteries or a replacement battery if uh, you have one. While charging, the LEDs will blink like we know it from Phoenix. Once everything is charged, the four LEDs will be constant on. So I will charge the battery up and then measure it uh, in my Ulbricht ball with the uh, original battery and with three AAA batteries that you will just install like a regular uh, battery tray. So guys, here we are with the Phoenix HL45R focusable headlight in the white mode, in the highest mode with 1000 lumen focused. I measured it focused in my Olbrich ball and I only measured 800, but it's always uh, brighter if I defocus, so the indications are correct. Here you see the defocus mode. Here you see the focus mode, so really nice switching. I just don't like the sharp edges of the focusing, but a lot of people don't care about this. We are going to the lowest mode, which is indicated with 30 lumen. I measure 20 lumen, then 130 lumen. I measured 95, so always keep in mind, focused, it has less lumen. And then the 350 lumen mode, which I measured with 270 lumen. So again, focused, defocused, really nice. I will switch over to the red light, indicated with 5 lumen. I measure 5 lumen, 30 lumen I measured, 35 lumen. And then 130 lumen I measured even 170 lumen for the red flash. It is indicated with five and I measured five. So switch back to the white mode. I will take a walk and show you the differences. So here's the brightest mode, completely focused. So we have a really nice beam distance. And if you defocus, we have a nice spot mode, but you can see there's a nice or oh, not so nice circle from the focusing ring that I don't like if it's a really round beam. I prefer if the edges are not as sharp. We'll switch to the red mode. So this is the highest mode. So this is a pretty fun flashlight from Phoenix. It's not the light that I would choose for myself, but it will be fun for my kids to have. Um, I would prefer that they would make it compatible with uh, Lion batteries instead of this battery pack, but overall a very nice flashlight. 
If there are any questions left, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really like if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.